Hello everyone and welcome to this second video on the Mino Arcanas and the Terra Journey video series. So today we are gonna see the suite of pentacles, okay? <clears throat> so this suite basically tells the story of money. Um, it's a, you know, those are cards that are related to material possessions and finances and they usually refer to professional opportunities and also, you know, new projects that are going to bring you more money. Okay, it also addresses money, abundance, finances, all those beautiful things. So it's basically a story about wealth. Yes, material wealth, but also personal wealth. Okay, so we start the suite with the ace of pentacles so this is basically um, the start at the beginning of a new opportunity it can be on a professional perspective or in a financial perspective okay it's the universe that is sending the consultant an occasion that could eventually bring him you know more abundance more money basically like maybe even important financial gains okay or a new professional opportunities. So at this point, it's really up to the consultant to be like, well, am I taking this opportunity or am I waiting for the next opportunity to come by? Which leads us to the two of pentacles. So this dilemma basically leads you to the two of pentacle energy where you have to choose in between two different things, usually two different opportunities, okay? Opportunities that could eventually bring you more money and more abundance, okay? This is basically the indecision card, okay? Where you need, the consultant's gonna need to find ways to balance different opportunities and eventually choose one, okay? Um, you know, it's an opportunity to you know, for the consultant to ask himself what is more important in his life at this point and what direction is it that he or she want to undertake, okay? Um, so it might be an, an opportunity also for the consultant to ask himself what are the advantages of this and disadvantages of each situation uh, so he can make the best decision that is possible for him or she which leads us to the Three of Pentacles. So this card reminds the consultant that he is not alone, okay? He is surrounded by people that can have his or her back and that can support him in his decision-making, okay? Because it's when you do teamwork that you start to realize that, you know, at being part of a team can bring you so much farther than being, you know, on your own. So by combining your capacities with those of other people, you can really start building something that could grow into a successful project and successful opportunities. And, you know, collaboration with other people can lead you where you need to be faster. Okay, so this is also a reminder that if you're still lingering in this energy of the two of pentacles, I mean, you do not need to make the decision alone. You have people around you that can help you make the best decision for you and for your future. Which comes, which leads us to the four of pentacles, okay? This card, I would, you know, I usually call it a bit of a warning. So, you know, after leaving the energy of the three of pentacles the consultant can be in a really good situation where you know playing as a team helped him or her gain you know abundance and you know wealth okay there this is like the start of financial success but it's, it's also really important to not like close back on oneself. Like, you know, once you beneficiated for the help of others, you're like, okay, I don't need those people anymore. And then you're just like, I can do it alone from now on. And just like you go back into your, you know, your own little cocoon and your own shell because you really just want to be in your own world of wealth by yourself. Okay. But 
Um, this is not how, you know, you're going to reach wealth and, you know, the fastest way. So this is like a warning against uh, isolation, um, you know, being afraid of risk or even more like avarice. Like, I mean, you don't want to like, you know, keep everything for yourself. Like, yes, it's okay to keep some things for yourself to want to like, you know, retain a bit of your success for yourself but it's really important to not fall into excess okay everything needs to be well balanced in life which leads us to the five of pentacles so the five of pentacles really represents obstacles on the way to success on the way to wealth and abundance they can be financial problems uh, old debts maybe uh, you lost your job or maybe like your project is not going as good as you would expect it to go um, or it can also just be the sensation of being isolated and without resources okay so this is a sign that you really need to sit down and see what is not working for you okay but it can also be a, a bit of like you know the shining light of hope okay because you know not all is lost if you manage to get out of this energy quick enough then you can bounce back and be on your way as soon as possible. If the problems are really a, like you're are identified really fast, it's possible to bounce back and to keep progressing on the way to success. Okay, but you really need to get out of that energy of the Four of Pentacles because really it's that energy that led you to the Five of Pentacles, that energy to be closed back on yourself, to want to keep everything for you to refuse help, to be jealous of your things, to really want to like, you know, go into your your little cocoon and kind of like ignore everyone else, okay? So this is a sign that you might need to want to open back up to people and let them back in so you could figure out as quick as possible what is not working for you and go back on the right way. Which leads us to the Six of Pentacles. So this is basically a progressive comeback to balance, okay? After all the obstacles and the problem of the Five of Pentacles, this card really shows you and indicates that you now need to find that balance back, okay? You need to ask yourself, am I in a situation where am I giving more than I receive or am I receiving more than I give? Is there a side that is giving more or receiving more? Because if you really want to come back to that really balanced state, it's really important that both sides in life, you know, you and others, um, you know, to have an equal energetic, energetic exchange so no one is giving or receiving more than another. Okay, so it's now up to you to ask yourself, well, in this situation, is everything balanced or am I the one that is giving more or receiving more? This is up to you to ask yourself the right questions. Okay, which leads us to the seven of pentacles. This is basically a clue that, you know, the consultant is in a really good path to get that balance back. Um and reestablish the, you know, the, in, you know, on inequalities that the Six of Pentacles might have highlighted, okay? If success is not yet there, it doesn't necessarily mean that the efforts that you're putting in are worthless, okay? It is really possible that, you know, the efforts that you're putting in are started to be recognized. So it's really not a time to stop doing what you're doing, okay? It's a time to remind you that if success, if financial gain, if money, abundance, sometimes, you know, make a bit more time than you would like to show themselves up, it doesn't mean that you need to give up on the first obstacle, okay? This card really reminds the consultant on the value of constant efforts and all those constant effort can finally lead, lead him or she to the way of success and permanent success. Which leads us to the Eight of Pentacles. This, basic, this card basically symbolizes constant effort and mean, like, you know, like 
constant and really hard work. So this demonstrates that a consultant is really dedicated to his project. He's really putting in the work um, and it's going there. Okay. He did not, he or she did not give up and is constantly showing up for himself and his project. Okay. It's also a really great time to remind yourself of the teachings of the three of pentacles. I mean, if everything is starting to feel like a burden because you're working so hard, go and delegate, okay? Remind you that you have a tribe behind you, that you have people around you, okay? This is like action towards success. But it's also a card about the different types of, you know, support that you are gonna get on your way to success and that are way often a bit like bypassed when you see someone being successful. I mean, you see the person, but you do not see all the support system that that person has behind. Okay, so remind yourself of that support system. Which leads us to the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is basically personal accomplishment. It's, you know, following all your effort, your really hard work, you are finally getting there, okay? You see success. You are receiving, you know, the benefits of your effort. And this card really represents personal stability and personal security, okay? Like all obstacles and problems are really in the past and you are now in a position to enjoy you know, the results of your efforts, okay? This also symbolizes the, the importance of being in peace with oneself and in one world before wanting to share that abundance, okay? Because in the end, if you cannot appreciate your success and be proud of yourself on your own, then how can you be able to appreciate what you have with someone else, okay? You should not need someone else to appreciate all the good things that you have because you put in the efforts to get them, okay? Which leads us to finally the Ten of Pentacles. So this is really the card that symbolizes stability and a future abundance, okay? After all the efforts that you put into your projects, finally you are at this state where everything is constant, like, you know, you are um, getting in a constant revenue, constant money and wealth is coming in, and you can finally share that wealth with others. You're in, a, you're in a point in your life where everything is stable enough that you can share it with others. It's basically the ultimate accomplishment, okay? The accomplishment that lasts in time, okay? That brings you constant, constant, you know, happiness and, you know, the success that you can be proud, proud of, okay? It's really the final success, okay? The consultant managed to, you know, get himself into a situation that is lasting, that is going to bring him comfort, security, and also abundance because he was able to show up for himself every single day, put in all the efforts, and finally he knows ultimate success. So this is it from the cards from 1 to 10. Um, of course, we also have uh, four figures um, that come into this suite. So here they are. So first of all, you have the Page of Pentacles. Okay, this card represents a person or an energy that is really new, okay? That is really excited to really get into this new abundance, you know, adventure, okay? They have a project that they want to put out there and they're so excited to put that thing out there and to start building their own wealth, okay? Okay. Now, this card is also is really enthusiastic, but it's also representing an energy that is really new, a bit naive. So that person is excited, but might not necessarily know where to start. And it's totally fine. I mean, you're there to learn. You're there to learn new things. And this is the perfect energy for that, because even though they don't really know where to go, they're willing to learn. They're willing to go out there and try new things. Okay, it's a really motivated person and energy that is motivated by seeing other people succeed and they want to succeed for themselves now. Which leads us to the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight is an individual or energy that is really hardworking. 
okay? It's what the pH can aspire to become if he maintains his effort, okay? The knight is someone that works hard on a daily basis, okay? He's really invested in what he's doing and he's really, really driven to get where he needs to be. But the knight is not yet a really mature energy. Sometimes he might not be the most consistent person, okay he can really touch like both extremes he's gonna be one day super perfectionist wants to get everything done and the other day might get discouraged because he's not getting the results that he wants okay but what we want to retain is like the really driven energy of the night okay because if the night keeps showing up even when he might feel a bit discouraged this is when he's going to gain the maturity that is necessary for him to reach the next level. Which leads us to the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen represents an individual or an energy on who we can trust. So the Queen is reassuring. It's like, you know, the person that takes care of their home, but who is also a really strong businesswoman. Okay, <clears throat> she might not be the more emotional, but she is devoted, okay? She's going to make everything to make sure that all of her family and her close ones are financially secure and she's going to work for it, okay? It's someone that has experience and that is more than willing to, you know, have others benefit from this experience, that she really wants others that are dear to her to make their own decisions and to really step into their own financial success. So it is someone that has really that is that knows success, that knows how to lead her business, but she's not necessarily like a show off. She knows her things, she does her thing, and if you want, she's going to give you her knowledge, but she's not necessarily go out there. She's not necessarily going to go out there and show off her success, okay? Which finally leads us to the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is an individual or an energy that is basically the definition of financial success, okay? It's someone who persevered, showed up every day, put a constant effort out there and is now a really stable and wealthy figure. But he's not like the queen. If the, queen's, the queen likes to be a bit more discreet about her success, this guy wants to show it off, okay? He succeeded in life and he's really proud of it and he wants people to know that he's someone that you can trust to succeed, okay? Um, so... It's not necessarily someone that is selfish or that is like show off. He's just really proud of what he did. And he kind of like wants to show it off because he really wants to help others, you know, follow his steps, um, which can make him a bit rude sometimes because he might give like advices that are not necessarily wanted. But know that this all comes from a really good place. OK, it's someone that knows success and want to help other reach that same success, okay? He's really going to be your number one fan if you ask him to be, and he's going to be your number one advisor if you want him to be, okay? He's really going to always be there for you if you need him to be to show you how to succeed in your own projects or business, okay? So that is it for the suit of pentacles. Um, I hope that could help you guys. Um, and on this, I will see you again for the last two remaining videos of the tarot journey. I love you guys. You take care.